Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at Elastic Cache, which is used for managing caching services which either run on Redis or Memcache. So to fully understand what Elastic Cache is, we need to answer a couple questions, and that is what is caching? What is an in-memory data store? So let's start with caching. So caching is the process of storing data in a cache, and a cache is a temporary storage area. So caches are optimized for fast retrieval with the trade-off that data is not durable, okay? And we'll explain what not like what it means when we're saying it's not durable. So now let's talk about in-memory data store because that is what Elastic Cache is. Um, so it's when data is stored in memory. So memory, literally think RAM because that's what it's going in. Uh, and the trade-off is high volatility, okay? So when I say it's very volatile, that means low durability. So what does that mean? It just means the risk of data being lost, okay? Because again, this is a temporary storage area and the trade-off is we're gonna have fast access to that data, all right? so. That is generally uh, what a cache and in-memory data store is. So with Elastic Cache, we can deploy, run, and scale popular open source compatible in-memory data stores. Uh, one cool feature is that it will frequently identify queries that you use often and will store those in cache so you get an additional performance boost. Um, one caveat I found out when using this in production for my own use cases is that Elastic Cache is only accessible to, uh, to resources operating in the same VPC. So here I have an EC2 instance, as long as it's in the same VPC, it can connect to Elastic Cache. If you're trying to connect something outside of AWS, such as DigitalOcean, that is not possible to connect to that Elastic Cache. And if it's outside of this VPC, uh, you're not going to be able to make that connection, uh, probably through peering or some other efforts you could do that, but you know, generally you want to be using Elastic Cache or the servers that use it to be in the same VPC. Uh, and we said that it runs open source compatible uh, in-memory data stores. And the two options we have here are Memcache and Redis. And we're gonna talk about the difference between those two in the next slide here.